Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. This one is going to be a few days in my life. I think I vlogged about three days in total, but this is actually future me because I had to cut the vlog short due to an allergic reaction that I had on Valentine's Day. So you guys will hear about that at the end of this vlog, but it was kind of crazy. However, before I start the vlog, I wanna show you guys my new fragrances that I got from Dossier. Here they are. I'm so, so excited to show you everything that I got. If you guys are new to my channel and have never heard of Dossier, they are a fragrance website that replicates designer fragrances for a fraction of the price. They have so many different designers, so many different fragrances to choose from on their website. So I'll have a link in the description if you guys wanna check them out and use my discount code HANNAVICTORIA5 for 5% off your order. They also do free 30 day returns. So if you pick out a fragrance and you decide you don't like it, you can send it back within 30 days and get a full refund, which I love that about them because fragrances aren't a one size fits all. You have to try it out to make sure you like it. So before I show you these two, I'm actually gonna talk about this super quick. I'm most excited about this. Dossier released new travel size fragrances, which I have been wanting them to come out with for forever. I'm not even joking. Normally I just take the regular size dossier fragrance and throw it in my purse, but this way I can now fit it in my smaller bag. So I'm so excited. This set has 10 fragrances and I believe this is available on their website. I know for sure they have like little trios you can choose from. So I'm not sure if this is available. I think it is, but I'm so excited. And the fragrances in these are so good. I basically own all of the ones that are in the travel size, except for like two or three. So I'm so excited to try these out, throw a few in my purse. This is also obviously gonna make it easier for me when I travel. Instead of bringing one big fragrance like I normally do, I can pack a few of these. And this is called the Discovery Kit. So next up in the normal size fragrance, I have Musky Musk, which is inspired by Juliet Has a Gun not a perfume. I've never tried this one, so I'm super excited. The top notes in this are none. Okay. Mm. This is definitely very subtle. I feel like this would be a good fragrance, like fresh out of the shower. You just smell like super clean or like right after the gym or like even going to the gym because you don't want to be like smelling all fruity and floral at the gym. Mm. Yeah. I love this. I love how subtle it is and how it's not overpowering. Definitely not like anything I have in my collection. I can't stop smelling it. Mm. So fresh. And then the last one that I have to show you guys is Fruity Brown Sugar. This is inspired by YSL Mon Perry, Paris. The top notes in this are bergamot, raspberry, and pear. I don't own any like raspberry fragrances. Mm. Wait, I'm lying because I totally have the real one of this. <laughs> but it was my favorite for years. I still wear it. And this smells exactly like the real one. Oh my gosh. I'm always mad at myself for ever buying the real fragrances now that I've discovered Dossier because I'm like, I wasted so much money when it smells the same, it lasts the same amount. This one is one of my all time favorites. I highly recommend. It's warm, kind of florally because it's got jasmine and orange blossom in it. Mm, it's, it's just so good, 10 out of 10. Huge thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget to check the link in my description if you guys wanna check out Dossier and use my discount code HANNAVICTORIA5 for 5% off your order. And without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. I am currently starting this one off on a Monday night. I'm gonna be vlogging the next couple of days because I've got some stuff going on tomorrow and then Wednesday is Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna do a few days in my life. But anyways, it's currently 7.20. The Bachelor comes on at eight, so I wanna watch that. I've already ate dinner and everything, but I still have a few more things to do. Also, my hair is so, so dirty. I need to wash it, so that's why it's in this unruly bun. Just ignore that, but yeah, I literally only left the house once today and it was to go pick up food. I ordered from one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. I'll insert a clip I got on my phone. I went there around 5.30 and I got a quesadilla and it was so, so good, but Anyways, like I said, I have a few more things to do tonight and then tomorrow's gonna be crazy busy, but I have a new vanity that just came in. I'll show you guys. It's not put together or anything yet, but holy crap, it's probably gonna take so long to put together, but it came today. Thank God they delivered it to the door of my apartment. I thought I was gonna have to go down to the mail room and get it, but they delivered it to my door, so... My boyfriend came over here earlier and helped me unbox everything and get all the parts out and clean up because there was styrofoam everywhere. Like literally it was all laid out right here. 
and it was such a mess. Now I have the boxes outside on my balcony, but here's my vanity mirror. I've had that forever, that's staying, but I just had to get it out of the filming room to make space. I don't know what this is. Something for the vanity, because it's really heavy. But here's what we did today. It was like two huge boxes. FedEx told me it was like 240 pounds. It was so heavy, but here's all the pieces scattered right here, the tools and stuff, the instructions. I took out my old vanity. There's just stuff everywhere, it's a mess. But those are my old drawers for my vanity. But these drawers I am gonna keep and put them in my main closet or I could also put them in my Lulu closet. Also ignore this, that's more vanity stuff. That's the glass for it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put these in my main closet. So they're not going to waste. So that's good. So yeah, that's what we're working with. That's what we did today. My dad and my boyfriend are gonna put it together tomorrow. Hopefully they can get it all done in one day because it looks kind of time consuming. But yeah, that's super exciting. I'm so excited to have a new vanity. I've had that one for like seven or eight years, which like I said, it's fine. I got it very cheap from Ikea and it's been good to me, but just need a little upgrade, you know? Also, being in here just reminded me, but I listed a bunch of new Lululemon items on my Poshmark today. I announced it on my Skims Valentine's Day collection video in the comments. I also put a post, but two posts on my community tab on YouTube. So if you missed it, I'm so sorry, but as I'm filming this, there's still a ton of stuff left. So make sure you follow me on Poshmark. It's Hannah V99. I'll have a link in the description. But with that being said, I need to print off the shipping labels for everybody that ordered today. Ignore this angle. I probably should get my other tripod out. But I think I only got 11 orders today, which honestly is probably my least amount of orders on a drop day. But a lot of people ordered multiple items. But... Here's the printer that I use. It's linked on my Amazon storefront. And I use this paper that's like a sticky kind of material. This is like what they use if you ever order from like any website. It's just standard, but. So I'm just gonna plug this in. It's connected to my phone. So when Poshmark emails me the shipping labels, it's already connected through Bluetooth. So it's super easy and I'm stupid. I was just trying to weave it through the wrong end. Okay, so I'm gonna just start downloading some off my phone. Okay, sorry guys, I had some technical difficulties. Like, I wasted all of this because my printer kept getting jammed. But we figured it out. I'm just gonna count these and make sure that I have all of them. Also, my drop went live at 10 a.m. and I had several people order at 10 a.m. on the dot. You guys are so real for that. Thank you so much. That is some true dedication and I am here for it. So thank you to everybody that placed an order today and that will place an order at some time. It makes me so excited to see you guys excited when I do things like this and I don't know, it just makes me really happy and I love you guys. Okay, so I just counted and I have them all and now I'm gonna clean this up and then I gotta finish a video that's going live on Wednesday. I just have to do like the final touches for it, like description box and everything. Hi guys, I am looking a little scary right now and this angle is terrible, but I watched The Bachelor, I just took a shower, I shaved so that I could self tan. Literally, this is the Worst thing. I hate self tanning. That's why I usually get spray tans, but my spray tan studio is now 30 minutes away and I just don't have the energy to be driving an hour every week just to get a spray tan. So I've been playing around with self tanners and I haven't tried this one yet. This is by Dolce Glow. This is the self tanning mousse in medium dark. I've heard so many people talk about this and I've heard very, very, very good things on TikTok. So we're gonna try this out. I have, however, tried the Dolce Glow Hydrating Face Mist Self Tanning Water. I used this four or five days ago on my face and it's still a little tan and I used it on my neck. And it literally gave me the most natural, even glow. I didn't have to rub it in. I literally just sprayed this on my face. So I'm gonna be using both of these tonight. 
I don't tan every week. I really tan maybe once a month. Nowadays, if that, but since we've got Valentine's Day coming up and I've got a busy day tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and get it done with today. I am gonna do my skincare as well, brush my teeth, vitamins, all that stuff. But you guys have seen my updated skincare routine in, I think it was my prep with me for vacation video or my pack with me, one of those. And I always have all my skincare products, my makeup products, my hair products, my body care products, like shower stuff, all that linked on my LTK. It's super easy to navigate. I made it really easy for you guys. So on my LTK, if you shop it by section, there will be a makeup section with all my makeup products that I'm currently loving, skincare, hair, and I update that very frequently. So if you guys wanna see anything that I use in the shower or my skincare, any of that stuff, it'll be linked over there. But I will be adding these products to that as well. Definitely this one. I gotta try this one out first, obviously. But I am gonna do my Dr. Dennis Gross face mask. This looks so scary, but I'm gonna do it on the red. And then once the red goes off, I switch to the blue, which is for acne. Red is for anti-aging, inflammation, all that stuff. So I'm gonna do the red, then the blue. After that's done, I'm gonna go do my skincare routine and then do this little tan and then get in bed and read. I'll update you guys with the results of my tan. I am all ready for bed. You guys can't really tell the self-tan progress, but I will say, so far it is the best self-tanner I've ever used, and I've used all of them. So, I really liked the way it applied. The smell is not strong at all. I'm just obsessed. I love it. I had a good feeling when I used the face mist that I would like the mousse because I love the face mist so much. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. But so far, so good. I'm chilling in bed. It is currently 11.20. Gonna read some on my Kindle. I'm reading The Perfect Marriage. It's really good, I highly recommend. I love psychological thrillers. That's my genre. And yeah, I love you guys. I will see you in the morning. I look crazy right now. Good morning, guys. It's actually afternoon. I didn't get off the wait list for Pilates, but it's fine. I'm a little irritated. I'll get in eventually. <laughs> I think I just need to start booking it like two weeks in advance because this studio seems more busy than the other one. But my dad and boyfriend are here putting together my vanity. I'll give you guys that little progress, but I'm about to get ready. And obviously, because this is bad, about to get ready and meet my mom and we're gonna ship out the Poshmark orders I got. A ton of new orders today, so that's exciting. I can't take my eyes off of this book. It's so good. How long do you think this is gonna take? Uh, what's the day? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, You're funny. All day. You think? Uh -huh. Great. Yeah. We have the basket of stuff. It's a lot. And basically, I'm just gonna go through everything and package it up. My mom helps me. She's an angel. And before we send everything out, we double check and make sure that there's nothing that we missed, like quality-wise, even though we already double checked before. So basically, we triple check. I check when I'm cleaning out my closet, and then we check again, doing the pictures, and then again, sending it out, and yeah so it's probably gonna take us like 40-ish minutes and then we'll be on our way to the post office to get it shipped out today take long at all maybe like 30 40 minutes maybe. we just got done at the post office i didn't get any footage in there because we had our arms full we had 17 orders but now we're going to starbucks to try the new valentine's day drinks but there's one like right next to the post office that we're at but i tried to mobile order and they're out of one of the valentine's day drinks so we're gonna go into a different town because we're dedicated and i really really want to try these drinks one's like a hazelnut cookie 
wait, hazelnut chocolate cookie cold brew, cookie cream cold brew, something like that. And the other was a chocolate covered strawberry frap, which that is my weakness. So we're gonna do a taste test. Are you excited? Definitely. <laughs> Can I get one more straw in a drink tray, please? Perfect, thank you, you too. All right, so we're trying the Valentine's Day drinks. We've got the grande, the grande, we've got a grande <laughs> chocolate hazelnut cookie cold brew, I think. And then this one is the chocolate strawberry cream. Honestly, don't know. I'll put the names on the screen. Mom doesn't drink after me, so she's trying that one first. Since I had mono literally two years ago. Last summer. No, it wasn't. Think about it. Not last 4th of July, the 4th of July before. Mm -hmm, true. Okay, cheers. Cheers. It's good. I like this. You're gonna need more chocolate for it, though. Mm. This is like right up my alley. Tell me about calories on this. You got it all over your lips. <laughs> Do you want any more of it? No, but it's good. Well, I'm uh, not gonna be able to drink this whole thing. It smells interesting. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. This does need more chocolate for me. That's what I said. Which one's your favorite? That one. What do you rate it? The camera looks like extra bright. I'm so sorry. I think this exposure was turned up. I'm sorry, guys. So what'd you say? I'd say that's an eight. I and really like it. Is Maybe what? a nine. This is about a six, but if it had more chocolate, it could be an eight or a nine. For me, yeah. I gotta have chocolate. I give That's this, really good. I give it an eight, and I give that one an eight too. I feel like that yeah. one could be an eight and a half, nine if I had cho more chocolate. Because I agree. I love strawberry, and I love chocolate, so if they would just add a little, a little bit, bit more, more to balance it out, because the strawberry is almost a little overpowering. Mm -hmm. And then this is really, really good. Like, I would get this, like, as my everyday coffee order. That really is good. Yum. Okay. Now, we are going to pick up food. It's only three, but we're getting takeout for dinner. I was going to cook tonight, but I have so much I got to do. And my chicken's good for another few days. So, I was like, might as well just cook later. But, okay. Bye. <laughs> my camera was going to fall. You just took off. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it is a little while later. It's a lot while later actually. It's 8.38 and my dad and boyfriend just left. They were working on this for so, so long. Literally since 11 this morning. And we just got done. Or they just got done. I helped a little bit. Luke's coming back because he's gonna help me. I have to put everything in the drawers, move the old drawers into my closet, vacuum, clean, because there's stuff everywhere. It was a mess, but it's fine. Here's what we're working with in here. All my makeup laid out. Here's my new vanity. I'm obsessed. I'll give you guys like a better look once I have everything put in it. But those don't match perfectly. Like that drawer unit from Ikea is more of an off-white and those are clearly stark white. That's why I kind of have some space in between because I didn't like it when it was flush because my old vanity was flush obviously because it, it worked. But I would move that drawer unit all together, but I have nowhere else really to move it in this room. But I might end up doing that at some point. I just have to completely like rearrange this room and these two windows make it hard. But it's fine. I really like it. I love it. So cute. And then I gotta put these drawers in my closet. There's just a lot going on. I also have to wash my hair tonight. I should have done it last night. And I also need to watch The Bachelor because it comes on tonight. Or it's already on. But it's fine. We're gonna get it done. Okay. I'm back. I didn't even do a time lapse. I had so much going on. I just shoved things in drawers. I'll do a tour tomorrow. But here's a little sneak peek. I still have to tweak some things, but it's already 10 o'clock. Took me forever. This is stuff for a haul. It's kind of messy. I don't have anything like situated yet, but so much to do. And then we're dealing with another issue. One of my drawers just collapsed. Uh, so we're dealing with that. Trying to fit these drawers in here. It's just a whole fiasco. But it's fine, it's gonna be okay.
I didn't enjoy the vlog this morning, but I've basically been gone from my apartment all day. It's 3.48, I left my apartment at 10.30, I had appointments all day, back to back to back, so I didn't have any breaks. Also, sorry about the lighting, it's going in and out. But here are my nails, hopefully you guys can see. The first color I picked out, they were out of. Second color looked completely different in the little bottle thing, the container, than it did on the swatch. So I got this and it actually kind of matches my Lulu jacket, but I also finished my book. I read The Perfect Marriage on my Kindle that I'm absolutely obsessed with. If you don't have a Kindle and you're a big reader, I highly recommend. My lash lady gave me a little bouquet of flowers and a t-shirt. So I'll show you guys obviously when I'm not driving, but that was so freaking sweet. That made my day, but I'm gonna go home, start getting ready. Me and my boyfriend have dinner reservations at 8.30 tonight. Okay, makeup is done. My camera cut off before I could finish, but I will have everything linked on my LTK and the makeup section. But I did use a few products that aren't linked there, so I'll go ahead and add those in. But my hair is looking atrocious. We gotta fix this. I'm gonna curl it. I'm obsessed with my vanity, by the way. 10 out of 10 recommend. But I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair. I have to get changed. I already have an idea of what I'm wearing. I was gonna wear that red Princess Polly dress that I posted an Instagram picture in today, but I have this beautiful red top that I've worn before and I'm obsessed with. And I feel like it needs its moment again. So I think I'm gonna wear that. Oh, also look at what my sweet boyfriend gave me for Valentine's Day. It's so, so beautiful. I came home to this and a little card in front of it that I already opened and these are just Stunning. I'm so thankful. And these are the ones that my lash lady gave me. Super pretty. All right, so I'm ready. I just curled my hair and brushed it out a little bit. And here's the outfit. I'll have this linked down below. It's a little wrinkled, I don't know what happened. Maybe in the move, cause I haven't worn it since. But it's beautiful. It's on my Revolve favorites list. But like I said, I'll link it again down below. I have this in every color, I'm obsessed. And then just black Abercrombie 90 high rise relaxed jeans. Yeah, I just called an Uber because parking downtown is not, not ideal. I freaking hate it. It's terrible. So we're going to Uber and I'm also going to be wearing heels. So that's another reason, but I'm very excited. I'm just remembering, but we didn't even plan this, but my boyfriend suggested that we go here. It's one of our favorite restaurants, but this is where we had our first date, but yeah. It is now Friday. Yeah, Friday. I stopped vlogging Wednesday night, but I'll explain. Basically, we went out to dinner, I vlogged that, and then we went for a drink at the restaurant that was in the bar, and I had an espresso martini, and I started feeling like a little weird, like almost like anxious and panicky. And if you have been following me for a while, you know that I used to struggle with anxiety and panic attacks really, really bad, but I haven't been recently at all. Like I could not tell you guys the last time I had a bad panic attack but I started feeling very anxious and just not normal. 
I was having heart palpitations. I could tell my heart rate was super high. So we decided to leave and it was late. It was late, it was like 11. An Uber home for a four minute drive was $30. So my boyfriend got one of his friends to pick us up, take us back here, which was super nice. And I start getting ready for bed, I feel fine. I get in bed, I'm watching a show and I start feeling really nauseous and just really out of it, like weird. And I only had two drinks the whole night. I had a glass of wine at dinner and an espresso martini. I just felt like I was gonna throw up, which is not normal for me. Like, obviously if I would have drank more, then it would have been like, okay, maybe it's the alcohol. But I start feeling really, really sick. I felt like I'm having a fever. I was like shaking a little bit. Overall, just not feeling well. So I went to sleep. I wake up the next morning, so Thursday, and I have a rash on my leg. I had facial pain like in the jaw and like chin area. Like it hurt to touch. My throat felt really weird. My tongue was swollen. My hands were like really sensitive to touch. Like if I touched anything like warm, it felt like it was burning it. Super weird side effects. Um, rashes sporadically spread out through my body throughout the whole day. It was just really weird. So I'm thinking I had an allergic reaction because at dinner, although I got steak and I've gotten steak from that restaurant multiple times, I tried my boyfriend's meal, which he got duck and I had never tried duck before. I had two bites of it and it was really good, but I'm assuming that's what it was because when I was thinking about it, I'm thinking like, what's going on with me? I remembered I did a food allergy test years ago, like probably seven or eight years ago. And I didn't really take it too seriously because it said I was sensitive to like gluten, dairy, eggs, a couple other things, but I still eat that stuff. So I didn't really take it too seriously, but I remember it saying I was allergic to duck eggs, but I didn't have duck eggs, I had duck, but I don't know. So I'm thinking it was that I literally could not do anything yesterday. I had so much work I had to get done, but I didn't do any of it. I just laid on the couch all day. I felt terrible, took Benadryl, um, that helped a little bit. And overall, just not a good day. And today I finally feel a little bit better, but Things are just, there's still some weird things going on. So I'm gonna go to the doctor tomorrow, but I just wanted to kind of update you guys. That's why I cut the vlog short, but I'm pretty sure I already got plenty of footage. This vlog is probably gonna be so long anyways. But yeah, so Valentine's Day was overall really, really good, but it did take a turn for the worse. But yeah, I've never had an allergic reaction to anything in my entire life. So that was really scary and really weird. But yeah, that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am just now remembering I didn't show you guys a vanity tour like I promised. But that's gonna be in a separate video because it would take way too long. I finally got it organized the way that I want it. I did that earlier today. So if you guys wanna see that in my next vlog, let me know. I can do like a makeup collection. Let me know because it's looking pretty good. I'm very proud of it. Huge thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget to check the link in my description if you guys wanna check out Dossier and use my discount code HannahVictoria5 for 5% off your order. Also make sure to check out my Poshmark. I still have a ton of items available if you guys wanna shop anything from Lululemon. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.